Hello, my name is Jennifer Ranson. I am the Chief Operating Officer at The Bridge Ministry. The Bridge Ministry is a three-part ministry, Church Underneath the Bridge, Bridge to Kids, and Bridge to You. Every Tuesday night under the Jefferson Street Bridge, we serve 300 to 500 of our homeless and under-resourced friends. Everyone receives a delicious hot meal and participates in a powerful service. At the close of the service, we distribute 15,000 to 25,000 pounds of food clothing and toiletries to our friends. Our Bridge to Kids program is growing very quickly. Not only do we have a special Bridge to Kids service underneath the bridge every Tuesday evening, we also serve hundreds of students each week with food bags. These are students who have significant food insecurity issues and struggle to have food to eat when not receiving free breakfast and lunch at school. The Bridge Ministry also partners with over a dozen different organizations to provide needed resources through our Bridge to You program. We strive to be a clean conduit by which resources can flow to help other organizations bridge the gaps in their needed supplies. These are exciting days at the Bridge Ministry. Needs are being met and lives are being transformed. Thank you for your generosity and partnership. Without you, stories like this would not be possible. My name's Jeff Stoltz, and I'm a life that was changed under the bridge. I wandered the streets of Madison, you know, getting food, and doing whatever I had to do to get my dope. Uh, I was robbing people, I was robbing drug dealers, I was robbing anybody I had to. I was stealing cars, writing bad checks, just doing what I had to do. And I ended up befriending another homeless gentleman, a uh, guy we called Moose. Moose and I hung out together quite a bit, and he told me about a place that he would go to on Tuesday nights so he could get some free food. You know, I, I remember going under the bridge, and I wasn't buying into any of that Jesus talk. Uh, I was in control of my own life. I knew what I was doing. I was self-sufficient. I didn't need anybody or anything, let alone some God that, uh, that I didn't think really impacted me in any way. So I would go onto the bridge on Tuesday nights and I would get my food and I would get anything else that I could get away with getting um, and I would get out of there. But you know, what I didn't realize is that every time I went under that bridge, I was being touched by the Holy Spirit. You know, today, it's been sober a little over six years I've been ordained and I'm the campus pastor of a large church in Fayetteville, North Carolina called Destiny Now. I'm one of the North Carolina state representatives for a Christ-centered 12-step ministry called Celebrate Recovery. And I'll be forever grateful for what God did to me and in me under that bridge on Tuesday nights. And that person that he's made me today because of that. I thank God for Candy Christmas and the Bridge Ministries. I thank God for what happened to me under the bridge. Mm -hmm.